Hello everyone, today is the fourth Sunday of Lent, otherwise known traditionally as Mothering Sunday or Refreshment Sunday. And it's known as Mothering Sunday or Refreshment Sunday because today would be the traditional day where servants would be released from service to go to visit their mums um, and perhaps to visit their mother church, often the church in which they were baptised. I'd like us to open today with a short prayer. Let us pray. We worship the God who said, as a mother comforts her child, so I will comfort you. Almighty God, gather us now before you, as a hen gathers her brood to protect them. Like a mother, you gather your people to you. You are gentle with us as a mother with her children. As we meet today and follow your example, protect us, support us, and feed us with your unconditional love through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, today is a day of celebration for many as we celebrate the love of our mothers. But today can also be a difficult day. It's a difficult day for those who have lost mothers. It's a difficult day for those who are unable to be mothers. And throughout the Bible, we have lots of examples of mothers. And the Mother's Union have produced a short litany for us, which shows the breadth of diversity in mothering and how we as a church can pray, not just from a place, a place of celebration, but also from a place of darkness as we pray for and with those who find today difficult. And so I'd like to pray now that short litany for biblical mothers. Eve, mother of our humanity. Teach us true wisdom, that all life is precious in God's sight. Sarah, Hannah and Elizabeth, yearning for a child. Comfort and strengthen all who know the pain of infertility. Hagar, condemned to the harshness of exile. Sustain those who struggle to feed their sons and daughters. Rebecca, bride from a far-off land. Welcome women who must bring up their families among strangers. Rachel, weeping for your children. Weep with all mothers whose children have disappeared. Jacobed, mother of Moses and Miriam. Lend your ingenuity to women who seek protection for their children. Naomi and Ruth, bound together by a love greater than blood. Show us how bitter disappointment can become the sweetness of hope. And Mary, daughter of Israel, mother of Jesus, share with us God's secrets you have pondered deep within your heart. And so today, on this Mothering Sunday, we extinguish the fourth of our Lenten candles, the pink or rose-coloured candle, and as we do, we recognise that we pray from a place of darkness. But we look ahead with hope and we trust our lives and the lives of those around us to God. And so as we extinguish this candle today, we pray. As we extinguish this candle, we acknowledge the darkness in the world. God of compassion, whose son Jesus Christ, the child of Mary, shared the life of a home in Nazareth and drew the whole human family to himself. Strengthen us in our daily living, that in joy and in sorrow we may know the power of your presence to bring together and to heal. Through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. <laughs>